My brother told me I was nuts for going to oncology. But I used to say to him, I'm like, well, cancer sucks. But wouldn't it be worse if there was nobody around to take care of people that had bad things happen to them? I and mean, you can't ignore the bad things happen to them. You got to do something about them. And I, to be honest, was very angry that I didn't know that these symptoms could mean cancer. In 15 minutes of talking to someone, you have turned their lives upside down. 360. And it can be overwhelming. It's very hard. Comfortable breathing. Are you okay with rock music? Because there may be rock music during your surgery. Please welcome to stage N.E.K. Oh my, God. my doctor is a rock star. <laughs> we are a band of six gynecologic oncologists. So all six of us are women's cancer surgeons. And it is such an honor to be here tonight. You are surgeons by day and growing rock stars by night scattered across the country. The band is the lightning rod of attention for the gynecologic cancer awareness movement. We are mad in the head. And how did you discover that you had cancer? Um, it actually took a year. So the music is a way to get people to gather, get people talking about a subject that most people don't want to sit around and talk about. When I first saw you, my heart had to see. You were the melody, the song from my dreams. I mean, that really transcended. I mean, this is really, this brings it all together in a really, really amazing way. I couldn't complete the song the first time through without crying. Take my hand, let the same. Is that there is this group of cancers that's been ignored. There's been a wall of silence around it. You know, do you talk about ovaries, you know, in public kind of thing? <laughs> you know? My vagina's angry. My vagina's furious and it needs to talk. Breast cancers, you know, all about breasts, but GYN cancers are below the belt. Help us talk about it. <laughs> And you need to. I'll okay, you. Like I had a radical hysterectomy, and that's it. Like there's no. Yeah. Help us make it not a taboo subject anymore. Make it uh, something that is in everyday discussion. Hopefully, we can bring some noise to that, so that we're heard, and so that our patients are heard. All right. I will see you in two weeks. This, this whole journey that we've been on as a band has been very healing to all of us. Being the kind of doctors that we are, it absolutely affects us. It, affects, it permeates our entire lives. It looked like you're burning out. I said, I'm not burning out. I'm, I'm what someone looks like after burning out twice. You don't like having to hurt people to help them. You don't like having to see good people suffer when there is no rhyme or reason to it. Everybody wants to make sense of it. There is no sense that's made of it. And it is, it is definitely a strain on, on families and friends. And personal sacrifice. You mean your, your relationship. The benefits always debated. Truth be told. Do you want to talk about that at all? Patients kind of think that we just deal with it and put it away, and we don't. We carry it with us, you know, wherever we go. I have a patient coming in for 
the emergency room and outside. Now she says she's having intercourse tonight and has severe bleeding. So I'm going to take the right? So let me know. Will you just text me? I won't be able to answer. Just text me. Women are really excited that somebody's doing something that represents them. And they feel like this is a voice. So we, they feel like we're their band. And we look at it that way.